Hey guys, I hope you had a great weekend. I'm the Honey Bee Picker and I'm a part-time reseller and part-time I make videos to show you about reselling. And this is a sequin dress. Um, scared of selling sequins? You don't have to be too afraid, but detail is important. Um, this is just gonna be a quick video about this one dress um, and how to ship it out. So I listed this dress. Um, maybe a couple of weeks ago and it's already sold so i paid a dollar for this dress at a yard sale it's very jeweled it has a slit up this the front and <clears throat> in the back it's braided or laced like a shoelace and the ribbons are really nice um, if you check out my store you and look at what has sold you'll see that this sold for $85 plus shipping and the type of measurements that I did so right here would be the pit pit to pit and then I also measured from hanging on the wall the distance from here to the front of the bust I measured under the bust for the uh, like the rib cage area the full length from pit to the the length and um, the length of the slit now how are we going to ship this out right so you want to be sure not to get it tangled if you ever get sequins tangled support the weight of the portion of the item that is caught or or catching and i put a description about how they should unpack this and um, how to manage any kind of catches or tangles when they catch on each other. So we are going to pack it up real quick. This is my little magnetic bar back here where I hang my hangers. And this is a Grace Karen dress. Um, I Because I got it at a yard sale, I just assumed that it's used, especially since it's sequin. And so we are going to let the weight of it naturally fall gather these slits together on the other two halves and we're going to lay it down in half okay all right so I want it to be pretty smooth and it's it's fully lined and if you see me in this video I have no makeup on today it's just one of those days where you got to get the work done right so we have it laid out this is kind of the center of the dress and I don't have any folds you can use whatever tissue that you have this tissue is just some extra stock tissue that I have. Um, they're technically like something you'd use in a restaurant to put on a little food tray. Um, so instead of them going to a landfill, they went to me. So kind of a little bit over the center, a little over center, I'll start laying these out. So I just kind of overlap them. Try not to double them up, overlap them, keep going, a little bit of overlap there, all the way to the front. And whatever kind of tissue that you want to do, um, but you don't want to do bubble because the bubble will stick to everything. Now we're going to catch the slack. And remember that the center is kind of overlapped here and we're gonna fold it over in half and it's gonna kind of fold my tissue the first couple inches of it and we're gonna tuck these in all the way down kind of lay it out so it is flat and OK, 
okay. See? So now it's half long ways and it has tissue all the way through. Now we're going to lay tissue overlapping across all of this. So we'll leave a little extra on the end down there and cover it up. A little bit overlap so they don't slide around. And then we're going to put it in a bag where it just fits so it can't unfold. And it'll stay just like this until they get their dress and then they'll unfold it the same way that it's packed up. All right, we're going to start at the bottom and work our way to the top. So I'm going to fold this over and when it comes this way, it's going to be touching this tissue. So that's okay. And we're going to keep all the edges smooth, looking good so far. We're going to fold it again. And my shipping bag is an oversized bag like this. Um, so that's kind of the size that we're wanting to make sure that we stay within. And we're going to fold it again. Open up any anything that's kind of... And see, we ha we're not having any struggle with um, anything catching. So we're going to fold it over once more. All right. And then it looks like this so far. I know it's super noisy with all the paper, but so we have covered it, um, you know, put it long and put the tissue down one half of it with it folded over and then covered in tissue again and gently folding over and over and make sure you, you know, unfold any of the fabric that is folding so it's as minimally um, creased as possible. And then so that it doesn't rub on the bag, I'm going to put a couple pieces of tissue around it. And I'm not going to put any tape because if anything shifts or my customer, when they unpack it, if they don't remove the tape and some of the tape gets exposed, you don't want that tape to get caught on any of the dress. So I'm going to fold that over. And cover it on this side. And, and that's it. So now we'll bag it. I have a fresh bag here that, because I'd already bagged it, I literally, I've already done this, <laughs> but I undid it so that I could show you what it was that I did because I was like, I don't know about this. You know, I've never sold sequin before, but you just figure it out, right? So here's my bag and we're gonna start back here. Okay, the dress is in and it's nice and neat. I'm gonna, and you could, you know, what I did was I had already packaged it all up, put it into my storage bins until it was gonna sell. So I'd already wrote my little thank you card and I had wrote what it was, jeweled strapless Grace Karen red size four. Um, and I had that face up so that I could know the item when it was ready to, to pull it because I don't pre-package all of my clothing, just things that could get lent, snagged, um, or like these sequin dresses. So I have another one that's similar to this. Uh, it's um, like a spaghetti strap, I believe. So we'll seal it up. I can... And we want it to be pretty snug so it doesn't go anywhere 
And so this can actually go in a uh, bubbled, um, a padded flat, padded, um, um, okay, it's all done, packed up, sealed, tissue, my thank you card, and I ordered these. They're just some warning stickers um, for the bag. I try to put them on every time, and so that's it. One dollar yard sale sequin dress, a little bit of tissue, $85. All right, see you next time. Thank you guys.